नमस्कार आई एम श्रियंका एंड यू आर वॉचिंग टॉप स्टोरीज विथ मोबाइल न्यूज ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वेर यू गेट द बिगेस्ट न्यूज हाईलाइट इन इंडिया एंड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड लेट्स है लुक ऑन द हेडलाइंस अमित मेडिकल इमरजेंसी एयर एशिया फ्लाइट मेक्स लैंडिंग एट भुवनेश्वर एयरपोर्ट बट पैसेंजर डाइड पेटीएम फाउंडर अरेस्टेड फॉर रैश ड्राइविंग रिलीज ऑन बेल इंडिया लॉक्स थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन कोविड नाइन्टीन केसेस और कांग्रेस फैक्शन डिमांडिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल पोल्स सी डब्ल्यू सी टू बी हेल्थ सोन राजन मिसाइल्स हेट मिलिट्री बेस फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम लवीव ऑस्ट्रेलिया बीट न्यूजीलैंड बाय वन फोर्टी वन रन पुलकित सम्राट बेगन शूटिंग फॉर फुकरी थ्री नाउ ब्रिंगिंग यू द डिटेल्स कोलकाता बाउंड एयर एशिया फ्लाइट हैड टू मेक एन एमरजेंसी लैंडिंग एट बीजू पटनायक इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट इन भुवनेश्वर ऑन संडे ड्यू टू अ मेडिकल अर्जेंसी द फ्लाइट वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम बेंगलुरु अ फ्लाइर आइडेंटिफाइड एस तैमूर अली खान एज थर्टी थ्री अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ पूर्व मेदिनीपुर इन वेस्ट बेंगाल फेल इल फॉलोइंग विच द फ्लाइट वॉज डाइवर्टेड टू भुवनेश्वर एयरपोर्ट Khan was given medical treatment inside the flight and later with the coordination of ATC ATM and Apollo doctors was shifted to Capital Hospital in the city in an ambulance however Khan was declared dead by the doctors at the hospital said reports the Paytm founder Vijay Shekhar Sharma who was arrested for allegedly hitting the vehicle of a Delhi police officer was released on bail delhi police said on sunday as per fir registered at malviya nagar police station on february 22 sharma's car which he was driving hit the car of a delhi police officer from behind and fled from the scene later he was arrested by the police the alleged accident happened outside mother international school on aurobindo mark India registered 3116 new COVID-19 cases taking the total tally to 4 crore 2990991 in the country as per the health ministry data on Sunday as many as 47 fresh casualties were also recorded taking the total death count in the country as a result of coronavirus to 5 lakh 15850 The active cases currently stand at 38,069 which now comprise 0.09% of the total infections while the national COVID-19 recovery rate has decreased to 98.71%. Meanwhile, 5,559 recoveries were also recorded increasing the total recoveries to 4 crore 24,37,072. Senior leaders of the party who have come to be known as G23 a group demanding organizational elections met on Friday night and are expected to raise the issue again at the CWC meeting Meanwhile a meeting of Congress Parliamentary Strategy Group is being held in the national capital Delhi and a meeting of Congress Working Committee the top decision making body of the party will meet later in the day Senior party leaders including Rajya Sabha leader of opposition Mallikarjun Kharge Anand Sharma and Jairam Ramesh were among the leaders who arrived for the meeting on Sunday morning Multiple explosions were heard in Ukraine's western city Lviv on Sunday morning The Guardian reported on Sunday the explosions were heard shortly before 6 a.m. local time Sunday on the outskirts of the city which lies close to the border with Poland Photos posted to social media show large columns of smoke purportedly rising from the direction of the Yevorev military training ground indicating that Russia is stepping up its attack in the west of the country and may be a deliberate attack on incoming western shipments of military and humanitarian aid to Ukraine according to reports from the Lviv Regional Military Administration and later confirmed by Lviv's mayor Andri Sadovy. All-round brilliance from Alessi Perry and Darcy Brown's three-wicket haul helped Australia beat host New Zealand by 141 runs in the ICC Women's Cricket World Cup match at the Basin Reserve on Sunday. The 19-year-old Brown ripped through the New Zealand top order to take Australia in a dominant position. 
The steamer dented New Zealand's chase of 270, picking up three wickets, including Susie Bates and Amelia Kerr. Beth Mooney demonstrated her athleticism at second slip as she dived to her right, fully stretched herself and took a low one-handed catch to send the dangerous Amelia back to the dressing room. Bollywood actor Pulkit Samrat on Sunday started shooting in the national capital for his upcoming next film for Kray 3. Taking to Instagram, Sanam Ray actor dropped two pictures from the set with the team members. First photo he posted is of film's clapboard and second with his co-stars Varun Sharma and Manjot Singh. Along with the picture, he wrote Fukre 3 Aapki Seva Me with rock emoji, Mrigdeep Singh Lamba directed film with also star Varun Sharma, Richa Chadha, Manjot Singh and Pankaj Tripathi in pivotal roles. Varun Sharma also shared the same photo with the caption, Delhi Me Ho Gai Fukra Panti Shuru along with red heart and star emojis.